On Thursday during U Hour, the Cal Poly Pomona community gathered to celebrate the life of Ivan Aguilar and participate in a memorial bike ride in his honor. I just want to thank everybody for being here and uh, showing your support. Thank you. Members of Hermanos Unidos and the cycling community helped organize the event. Prior to the bike ride, students were given the opportunity to share some thoughts and memories they had of Ivan. For myself, I will always remember Ivan. Ivan will always be in my heart. He was one of like one of my best friends. I always went to him, talking to him about like what he's doing on the poly poles, everything he was doing. So for me, it's very. Um, it's a hard time for me. I'm very angry right now, very upset that this happened. Uh, it should not have happened, and you know, and ho I hope something can positive can come out of this, and hopefully we can create some change so that it doesn't happen to anybody. Thank you. We all can relate to what happened, and I think it's our job and our responsibility as students from this campus to come together and really advocate for change, because this cannot happen again. We all know the suffering that this has caused, and we are the only ones with the power to make a change. I just think it's really great to see everyone um, showing their support for him. And I know that um, every, like any little bit that you can donate um, will really be appreciated by him and his family. And I think that he's probably um, smiling down and seeing all this, that um, hopefully something can come, something good can come out of all this. Go to the credit union on campus and donate. Uh, you can go to the Chavez Center and donate. Participants then made their way down to the memorial site near the faculty parking lot and set up a ghost bike as a memorial and to create awareness for cycling and driving safety. Following the memorial gathering, cyclists rode their bikes down Kellogg Drive and returned to campus, following a route Aguilar often used when riding to and from school. Other attendees observed in silence during the ride. Well, Members of Aguilar's family also attended the event. That was the ride. I just want to thank you guys on behalf of my family. On behalf of my because I know he would be smiling right now. Following the event, additional students shared their reasons for participating in the bike ride and continued to share some more fond memories they had of Ivan. I think the, the best memory I have with Ivan is is on our trip to Santa Barbara this past weekend. Um, wow. Yeah, um, well, two weekends ago. Um, we were actually roommates in the, in the hotel room, and you know I was worrying about my midterm on Monday, and he told me it was just like so motivational. He told me, you know, I know you're gonna do good. I know you're gonna pass, you know, that that midterm with an A. Just make sure that doesn't bring you down. And he actually, you know, the, the conversation got, you know, further and deeper. And he was like, that's just something you should do in life. You know, don't let a certain event or certain hard times, you know, bring you down. Because in the end, you, you will succeed as long as you believe in it. I was glad that at our meeting this, this past Wednesday, he actually, you know, talked about our philosophy, which is a nuevo hombre, and really demonstrate what it is, what it means. Um, he really took it to heart and he was really striving to be that. The philosophy of Nuevo Hombre is to always further develop yourself in every aspect of life, whether if it's academics, personal, you know, health, every, you know, everything is just always be, try to be better. Um, if we strive for that, then there's, you know, absolutely no way of you not being able to accomplish something you want to do. Something that stands out to me is the first time that I met him. Uh, I kind of said it before when I had the mic, but I met him at AIDS Walk last year. And I had I was really new to Hermanos Unidos. I had barely joined like two weeks. I had been in it for two weeks, and I didn't really know what's about. So I didn't know most of the guys. And you know, little Ivan is just so approachable. Um, you know, he just came up to me and he's like, "Hey, man, you know, what's your name? You know, uh, what's your major? What do you want to do?" You know, he was he was one of the my favorite people in Hermanos Unidos. There's there's several people that I remember from my first year. And, uh, he's definitely one of them, and it's because of that he was just so happy all the time. He was so approachable. Um, he didn't care who you were, I mean, he was still going to be nice to you, he would help you out if you needed it, and I think that's what I like the most about Ivan, and you know, I just can't believe he's gone, I, I wish I would have spent more time with him. My freshman year, first quarter, uh, I went up to the booth for Hermanos, and he was there, 
you know, he told me, he's like, you guys, you should join, it's really fun, you know, you're gonna have fun with us. And, uh, so he was one of the first people that yeah. you met. And, I mean, when I'm, the thing that I saw, like, in him, the first thing I saw was acceptance. I mean, he didn't know me, he didn't know who I was, but it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he took me in as, as a member, as a brother, mm -hmm. as, as family. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the transition from high school to college, I mean, it's, it's difficult. Be hard. And to know that you have someone that you, you don't even know, but that you You can feel cares about you. You can fall back. That was, I guess that was the first time I met him. Why did you decide to participate in this event today? Why was it important to you? Well, for the past two years since I started to uh, coming to Cal Poly, I've been commuting on my bike. So it's about 13 miles each way. And wow. for um, for much of the time, I used to take this road, Kellogg, uh, and I was noticing that it was pretty dangerous. So it really hits me, it hits me real close to know that someone in our own community was injured or uh, very grievously due to the accident. So I wanted to come by, show support, and um, Hopefully we can learn a lot about this event and uh, hopefully the school will implement some bike lanes, increase uh, bicycling, bi uh, bicycling safety. So uh, that's why I come by. Ivan Aguilar will be deeply missed by the campus community and all of those who had the privilege of knowing him.